Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Julia from Craft Room Adventures, and today I want to share a rain shaker card with you. For this, I used the Puddle Play stamp set by Hello Bluebird, which is just perfect for this type of card. I stamped out all of my images onto Bristol Smooth Paper by Strathmore uh, with Versafine Onyx Black Ink, and I cut them out using my brother's scan and cut. I'm coloring all of the images using a water brush and Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers and Atiza brush pens. For the elephants, I'm using the color 904, which is fog gray. And I'm just shading the little elephants in both the same color. I'm just trying to add shadows in the areas that I know would be darker, like under his uh, arm and on the parts that are already drawn in, like on his arms and the knees. I'm just scribbling down some 904 to add some more overall color. I'm using a little bit of 124 for the dock and the main color is uh, 55, which is pale yellow. For the umbrella, I'm using 124 apricot and 34 which was that? dull blue for the umbrella. Now I'm adding a little bit of 201, which is pink haze, to add a little of pink to the cheeks of the elephant and also on the inside of the ears. Also a tiny bit on a little duck. Then I'm going in again to add a little bit more sh shading to the umbrella. Now I'm ink blending the background for my card with tumbled glass, faded jeans and chipped sapphire distress ink. I really wanted this to be a pretty intense rainy sky. I'm just blending the colors back and forth until I'm happy with the blend. As you can see, I got some ink smudges on the panel as usual because I never know where to put my hands when I ink blend. Um, but I know they will be covered with a hill, so all good. I'm using some liquid stardust by Lawn Fawn to add some beautiful shine. It's just so pretty. And then I die cut some clouds and a hill using the Grassy Knoll dies by Hello Bluebird. And I'm using faded jeans on the clouds and bundled sage on the hill. There you can see the, the layout of, of the card. You will need a top and a bottom panel, uh, a pencil, some nylon string and I'm using seed beads which are two millimeter iridescent seed beads in my case and of course some cute images. Now I'm just taking my We Are Memory Keepers trim and scoreboard to add pencil marks every quarter of an inch. I'm just repeating this step all the way down the panel and those are the areas where my uh, strings will go. 
I'm just using a T-square ruler to add longer uh, strips of pencil marks on both sides uh, so that I know where to place the strings. And now I've just added a strip of foam tape, which is two millimeter foam tape. You need a bit of a thicker one to make sure all the beads can move properly. Now I'm just peeling off parts of the foam tape. I don't want to expose all of it because I'm using the backing sheet to press the strings into the adhesive so they won't move. I've already strung up my beads beforehand and now I'm just sliding them down as far as I need them. I make sure they're about in the center of the card so I don't get them stuck into the adhesive and then I'm just eyeballing where the pencil marks are and pressing the string into the adhesive. Once I'm sure it's, it's uh, in the right place I'm just pressing down the backing paper. Make sure the string is pulled tight but not too tight that the panel will work. And there you can see the beads are moving properly and now I can just repeat this step for all of the strings on the panel or all of the marks on the panel. I don't really pay too close attention how many beads I string up per string. It's just whatever I, I grab, but you can totally measure it out if you like. Um, I just eyeballed how many uh, beads I would need, but if you want to make sure you have enough, you can also measure out the, the string of beads. Uh, I'm using two millimeter string, uh, two millimeter seed beads. So if you were to have a certain amount of, of marks on your panel and you want, say, eight beads per string, you can just multiply that by the two millimeter beads, and you would know how long of a string of beads you would need to fill your entire panel. I just eyeballed it, but that's an option if you want to go that way. I'm just placing down the string and cutting off uh, the, the cutting it off the, the main piece of string once I have stuck it down. I just make sure the string is pretty tight, but again not so tight that it moves the paper. Uh, and that the every now and then I check that beads slide properly. Now I'm just starting from the other side because it's getting difficult to uh, have the backing sheet uh, hang over. Also, if you realize that one of the strings isn't uh, straight or isn't as tight as it needs to be at this stage, you can just pull it back up and place it down like it needs to be again. It really is no problem to move them around at this stage. 
and that finishes up all of the strings on my card. I make sure they all move properly. Here you can see one of them didn't really, so I made sure to pull up the string and make sh do that again, and now it all works as it should. Now I'm just going to peel away the, the backing sheet completely and add a string of foam tape on top to seal in all of the strings. I always make sure that uh, wherever I'm I'm placing the foam tape, the beads are on the other side of the panel, so I make sure I don't get them stuck in the tape. Now I move them down and do the same thing on the other side to seal in the strings. And that finishes off the rain shaker mechanism. Now I'm just taking my scissors uh, and trim off the excess strings. Now I'm taking some anti-static powder tool to run it along the exposed edges of the foam tape to make sure none of the beads will, will stick to it. I'm doing that on both sides. Now I'm just adding additional strips of foam tape to the, the sides of the panel as a support for the clouds and the hill because otherwise they would hang down and stop the beads from moving. So just make them as long as I can without them being visible when I assemble the card. And I'm also running some powder tool along those sides too. This strip was a little long, so I just trimmed it off some more. Again, with a powder tool. And now I'm just adhering my hill and cloud panel. Now, do as I say, don't do as I do, because as usual, I forgot to stamp my sentiment on the cloud. Or, I forgot to stamp the sentiment, which happens to me a lot and this isn't exactly a surface that is helpful if you have to stamp a sentiment because there's basically no support in the middle because the strings need to uh, the beads need to move but you will see me <laughs> deal with this in a second but this is the mechanism i make sure everything works there you can see me bending back the, the panels a tiny bit. This is something you won't see from the front of your cards just when you see the sides, but this just makes sure that the part that's really overhanging over the beads doesn't... Uh, so the beads don't snag on it. Then I put the panel into uh, my stamp platform, at adding the magnets wherever I, I could to hold it down because I didn't want to mess up the strings. And I'm just using some Faded Jeans Distress Oxide ink to stamp the sentiment. I'm pressing it down, and as you can see... ...worked perfectly. So, I just go in there because I've already committed, so might as well. 
but it ended up looking fine. It's not as nice as I would have liked it to be, but it's okay. Uh, now I'm just adding the images. I'm adding a little bit of liquid glue to the elephant to adhere the umbrella. Here I'm just deciding if I want it to be in front or in the back. I decided to have it behind him. And now I'm just adding some glue to make sure that the umbrella sticks to the elephant. Now I'm just figuring out the, the placement of the images. And then I'm just adding some liquid glue from Lawn Fawn to the back and adhering them down. Now I'm adhering the entire panel to an A2 sized card base in grey. And that finishes up my Rain Shaker card. Now I'm just playing with it a little because they're so much fun. I really really hope you give this a try because I enjoy them so much and they really don't take that much time to make. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day. Bye.